Oops. Whoa. <laughs> Hi guys, I am overwhelmed today because I am looking for Olasiman. This is the best plant for our animals like the birds, the cockatiels, and many. And accidentally, we dried this fish pond and this olasiman sprouted. So these are good for breeder birds because this is actually a prodigious to them. And we will get some because our main topic today is all about the cockatiel. And this cockatiel are actually very easy now to produce. I have so many tips to share with you about how to produce our cockatiel and one of which is actually by giving this olasiman. And this is the kind of grass that you can just easily find. So I am so blessed to have olasiman here and we will cut some of them and we will go to the birdhouse the aviary of our cockatiels and we will give them some. So we will do the harvest. Hey, hey, hey! We have here a bunch of Olasiman and this is actually good, especially during breeding season. And I would like to tell you also that aside from these leaves, we can also give water spinach, we can give vegetables like pechay, we can also give some palm trees, I mean leaves of the palm tree. And this is very exciting because this can just be outsourced in the vicinity. So come on, let's go and let's have an update about our cockatiel breeding. Come on. So I have here the water, and with this olasimum plant, we will dip it here and wash this thoroughly because these are dirty. And after this one, we can immediately give this to our breeder, cockatiels. And we will see that there are babies inside and they're so healthy. Actually, the population of our cockatiel had been doubled already. Okay, that's it. If you guys can find this kind of plant in your vicinity and you are breeding your bird, that's a blessing because this will actually make a difference in your breeding system. And many have asked me, how did you produce very quickly your cockatiel? There are only three things that I would like to share. The first one is the broomstick. What? Yes, the broomstick. It only means that you have to clean every day the surroundings. We have to clean every day the cage because the ants, the predators, the worms will just, you know, there are insects actually that will thrive if your aviary is dirty. So the broomstick is one of the key to success. Another thing. We have to maintain multivitamins with electrolytes. If you cannot give supplement food such as this one, you can also give multivitamins with electrolytes because this can supplement the health. But if you have vast of food such as this, no need. And number three, we have to segregate all that is not part of the breeding cage. Meaning that we will get all the chicks when they're already good for weaning, we will get them out of the breeding box so that the breeders will continue to lay their eggs. 
And if you can put that in a pairing cage or in a flight cage and they are pairing, of course we have to also take note that inbreeding is not good. So we will do some you know, markings. Then if there are pairings actually in the flight cage, then we can immediately put them inside in the breeding cage. So this is just a tip and this is very effective. So come on, let's go inside and we will give this Ola Sivan. Hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Wow, there are babies, new babies here. Very weak, but it can fly already. Shh, quiet. Because there are babies inside sleeping. Three babies. The other box has two, then the other box has three. So three plus two equals five, another three, that would be eight. So, very successful. This cockatiel breeding is one actually of the easiest bird to breed. I thought before that we cannot do this, but we have proven it that the colony breeding, of course, with some interventions, is also better compared to the battery type cages, which you're gonna put by pair. I don't disagree with breeding this in individual cages, but I would like to say that the colony breeding is also good. So many of us have experience about colony breeding and the main issue that we're going to address here is the inbreeding. That's why we have to do the markings. And you will see now that this will be eaten by the mamas, by the cockatiel, and they will feed their babies. So we will leave this, of course, we will clean the surroundings and then we will leave this here and you will see that all of them will eat this one. They're already eager to eat this one because I really have the difficulty in finding this one. And when we dried up our fish pond, suddenly it sprouted. So I'm so happy about this. And then maybe if we will decide to put water in the pond, that's the time that we can get seedlings or, you know, and plant this Ola Seaman elsewhere. So we will clean and then we will leave them eating this one. We already have cleaned the cage and one thing more that I can tell you is that the ad libitum seeds, meaning unlimited, they can eat anytime. This is very important. Do not allow your birds to go hungry. So 24-7, because some of them, if there are lice, they're also eating during midnight. But 24-7, this should be available. But you should be aware of the predators, the ants and even the rats because the rats are really also attacking here but i already have uh, driven away the rats i i scared them with you know this uh, cat so this is it and the unlimited food would actually help us make them produce more babies because if they have babies these babies are very voracious they need to be fed every two three hours they need that and uh, this is what we did. You see that there are many seeds here and uh, you will not allow to be run out of the seeds. So we will now give the most awaited breakfast on the semen. behind me they are mating you see that they're mating and this is the effect of the aprodisiac this olasiman you see they're mating and 
we will expect that they will lay eggs again, again and again and again. So, the proven thing is this on the semen thing, and maybe you can also do this with your aviary. You guys will note that we only have started this one two years ago and we only started with few pairs and per record we already have sold 20 and starting with eight pairs and now we have more than 10 pairs so we have produced a lot and the basic things about bird farming is actually attention because if you will miss one meal meaning you allow them to go hungry then that would be a disaster the the healing period or the recuperation is, is very long. It will affect them, especially if they are dehydrated, no water, no vitamins. So we cannot just expect more yield if we will neglect them. So we have to be very strict about the water and the seeds and the supplements. So I'm so happy about this. And you will see also that the African lovers that we are trying to care, which, is, which would be the content in our next upload, is also very uh, successful and we have so many chicks as well and I'm so happy about what we have done here in the farm so in the future we can transfer all the birds from here to the farm and that would be a fantastic view uh, you know seeing this aviary inside in our pond maybe beside of the boathouse so these are all the things that we can share I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and we are close to 2 million subscribers and maybe anytime this year we can reach our goal which is the 2 million subscribers a big family of hobbyists and farmers enthusiasts so i would like to see you in my next video and thanks for watching only here at dexter's world